my name's Andy and I love a bit of Rolling Stones, but there's definitely something missing. It's always much more fun with a rhythm arrangement and you can bet your boots that Mick, Keith, Bill and Charlie did not use one of those. This hair is ridiculous. I'm sorry about that. Look, this is going to be a bit of a longer video than my usual less than five minutes. So make yourself a cup of coffee or um, skim forward and see if you really want to watch it. It might not be your kind of thing and I won't be offended if you just go and find something else to watch. If you were looking for how to play Rolling Stones songs, then if I've remembered, I've put some links down below to some of my favourite guitar tutors online. Right, we're going to put together a complete drumming arrangement for Start Me Up. You know the one. You know the one. We're going to do that on the Boss BR800. This is a difficult one to do because it starts with the guitar and the drums come in later. So we're going to have to put a metronome counting beat to make sure that we can start the guitar at the right point. And then once we've recorded it, then we'll replace the counting metronome beat with silence. And hopefully the drummer will join in just at the right moment when we put the whole thing together. We'll start by putting the original song onto tracks seven and eight. So from iTunes connected via a USB uh, to the BR800 and the input is going to be USB. And we're going to be recording on track seven and eight, which is the press the record button on the BR800, play from the laptop and record the whole thing down onto track seven and eight inevitably there's going to be a bit of a pause to the point at which the song starts i know that the song starts at five seconds and 29.0 30ths of a second by using the scrub 2 function now you can find this on one of my other videos um, but to make life really difficult it starts slowly and then speeds up what I'm trying to do is to work out where measure one is going to start and then I'm going to put an offset at the beginning in just the right now, this place. This is a serious challenge because the song starts slowly. So I want two measures of counting metronome beat at the right speed for essentially measure three, which is a bit slower than the rest of the song and measure four is where it goes up to speed the drumming actually kicks in with a cymbal somewhere in the middle of measure four and then proper drums after that here we are in the rhythm editor and the first bar should sound just like this The second bar uh, is where the drumming starts properly, but it's slightly unusual. It's not the same as when we get to the full basic pattern, which is like this. I won't go through all of this, but is an example of the clapping section. Now to understand where that sound effect came from, I've actually assigned it to song kit number one, which is essentially a copy of most of the effects from one of the other 
uh, preset drumming patterns. But, um, I have used the tone load function to get a sampled sound for that, that clapping. Now I've come across an annoying little bug which is related to the uh, function to uh, write the arrangement to the BR800 unit. You can see here that the tempo changes, uh, starts at 115.9 beats per minute for the first bar, then it actually slows for the second bar, and then it goes up to 122, uh, varies all the way through. Um, but when I click Arrangement Right, all of those steps uh, are saved to the BR800, but with the same tempo, which is uh, 115.9. So all of that hard work that I've done to make sure that the tempo matches up with the original song just gets completely ruined. However, we can play it on here. And here's the first few bars. That's my counting. And this is the point at which the guitar is supposed to start. And that's I took a short break from putting the video together and it's gone all dark and horrible now. Right, I'm out of here. Thank you very, very much for watching. Let's put it all together, shall we?